in here. I'm not sure if I'm recording. Looks like we're good. All right. The title to this video is uh, Your Christian, Your, Your Own Personal Christian Hero's Journey Includes These Seven Steps. All right. Uh, so the, the, the story of the Bible is the story of how uh, believers uh, have an exodus and uh, release themselves from captivity. Uh, Yah pours out his Holy Spirit on us, and uh, this is how we do it. So <clears throat> this video is kind of a promotion for, I did a, 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 a blog post on Facebook, a, a Facebook note, and this is the video describing it. So uh, you can read about it. Uh, I made a meme for it as well. So I'm just trying to make it like seven steps. Like how do we get, we're in captivity. How do we all have our own individual transformation? And that same transformation, which is the bride, the body of uh, Messiah, right? Uh, so the, the Israelite bride, the believers, they have to have a, uh, uh, we're paralyzed right now. And the way you end the paralysis, just like the paralyzed woman, Jesus anointed, uh, he laid, anointing and laying on hands is the same thing. Uh, Joshua had, uh, uh, Moses laid hands on Joshua in order to anoint him to be his successor. And anointing, as we've said uh, in many of these videos, in Strong's, uh, 77, memorize that strong 77 is cannabism, and that's the link to cannabis in the Bible. Okay, okay, so your Christian hero's journey includes these seven steps. You got to know what a, the hero's journey is like the, the, the journey that the Lion King went through, or Neo when he went from being Mr. Anderson to Neo. All of you, all of us, myself included, we're all, we're all going through this. And I haven't completed all these steps. My hope is to be one of the witnesses that go to uh, uh, Jerusalem to put Rothschild on, on trial, as we should all endeavor to be uh, as a goal. That should all be for all of us because we're going to put our individual community Babylonian uh, minions on trial. That's all this is, is a system of minions and uh, we, we get to choose whether we're bond servants for Esau or bond servants of our, the creator, Yah. So this is the transformation in seven steps. So why is this important? Discover, discover Yah's nonviolent musical, nonviolent musical, Debtor's Revolt. Uh, Exodus Jubilee, to put the line of the tribe of Judah back on the throne in Jerusalem. Just like the movie The Lion King, Scars on it, The Imposter, we got to put Simba on it. Uh, that's actually uh, the line of the tribe of Judah. Jesus, the anointed one, Yahoo saves. Okay, number one, repent, step one. And the, the primary thing that we're doing that's rebellion in the Garden of Eden is that we think we can make law. Man cannot make law. Step one, that's repentance. Uh, within that, uh, then we all have to have our cannabis of Exodus anointing. We all need to be anointed and we need to memorize, memorize the Chant Down Babylon kids playlist. It's a musical playlist that's free on YouTube. The link will be in the video. Uh, number two, establish burning bush direct revelation with Yah. Via the cannabinoid, we have a cannabinoid system in our body which is failing and that's why people get cancer and all kinds of uh, 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 demon possession and sickness and uh, convulsions and seizures and, and through the cannabis of Exodus we heal that. Well, when, it, when we have a true, true healing, uh, Yah speaks to us directly. Uh, read my book, please, called uh, The Cannabis of Exodus, Believers Get a New Heart. And, uh, you know, just as a, for instance, Saul immediately received the Spirit of the Lord and he received a new heart after he was anointed. Number three, born again, born again means to, means to change teams. And we have to remove our consent and divorce Pharaoh, divorce Caesar, 
divorce Rothschild, divorce Esau, and divorce Uncle Sam. They're all different names for the same uh, power cabal. Uh, number four, uh, each of us in our communities is challenged to establish a school of the prophets, uh, which is an intergenerational instruction. It's an intergenerational instruction that man cannot make law because when man makes law, Adam and Eve got cast out of the garden. So that's like, don't touch the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. That's uh, rule one, <laughs> you know? Uh, and, and, and as soon as we even touch that tree, we're doing what's right in our own mind and we're whoring with other gods. Uh, a part of the school of the, you know, the mission of the school of the prophets is to uh, set the captives free. That's the mission. And we do it through music. This is a new song, which only the 144,000 generation can understand. A lot of people can't even, they have no idea what I'm talking about right now because they have been taught Romans 13 deception and they would, they, they have been so thoroughly domesticated that they worship and lick the boots that kick them. They have battered wife syndrome. And Cannabis of Exodus is outstanding for post-traumatic stress disorder. Okay, number five, establish biblical government in your community. That means judges of tens, fifties, hundreds, and thousands. And the judges go out two by two to put the Babylonian church, banks, and the state itself, the whole judicial system, all of it, put it on trial and say, where does your jurisdiction originate? And they're going to go to the Constitution, and then you say, well, that's man's law. And uh, since there's two of you, and Yah is wherever two or three are gathered in his name, and since we're coming in his name, Yah proclaims that we are given authority to, you know, to, to stomp on snakes and scorpions. And if you know what the Bible's all about, and Nashik and the snakes and the snake bite with Moses, that is... The Nashek, snake bite. When, so when, when Yah's talking about stomping on snakes, he's talking about stomping out the bankers. Okay. To put Babylon on trial, watch a video that we did, uh, 9.5 Thesis for Revival. Henry Garman and I were posting a Martin Luther-style poster activism in Breckenridge. We're going to start doing it here in Tampa with... Uh, uh, Jim Callahan and, and, and others that uh, uh, have the vision of the prophets. Okay, number six, implement usury-free jubilee economics. Uh, that means we're going to hire, the, we're going to establish our own independent economic system, including our own tithe-based money system, in order to hire the police and the military so that they can repatriate the land that the usurers have stolen, the land and the commodities. So, you know, when there's the story of the Exodus and they gave up the gold, that's why, because you had biblical judges, the gig was up, Pharaoh is not God, Uncle Sam is not God, <laughs> Caesar is not God, the gig's up. So what happens? Like, face judgment. You want to give up the stolen loot or you want to be stiff-necked, right? Yah's right there as judge. Okay, Additionally, the two witnesses, okay, I skipped the spot, to get an idea of what it means, uh, you know, effectively all of us are uh, prostitutes for this money system. We all sell our souls to varying degrees. We all work for the money lenders because we all have to have Federal Reserve notes. We have the mark of the beast right now. So in order to uh, uh, overcome that paradigm, we have to use biblical economics to overcome it and issue our own money to the point where we can survive off of our own self-issued money system, basically barter innovated with uh, tithe money. Um, there's a, a book created by Brett Jones. It's called The Monetary System of the Most High. You can read it for free uh, on Facebook or, or somewhere or other. I forget where he's got it. Um, number seven. Uh, uh, let, let me hold that, but we actually... You know, I'm back on number six. Implement a usury-free jubilee economic system. We made a music video called Officer of Peace. Now, it's got the caveat that at the time I was a constitutionalist so that we're doing this through the jubilee sheriff. But no longer will we be doing that. We'll be doing it through biblical judges. 
um, and basically showing that once we have our own money, the police and the military don't have to keep working for the synagogue of Satan. They don't have to keep working for Caesar and Pharaoh. Uh, the, the apostles, they quit their job. Uh, Matthew was the tax collector, right? He didn't keep being a tax collector. He changed teams. Born again, changed teams. However, we have to create a system whereby which all of those who come over to the kingdom, they can be employed and be able to support their families. Economics is very important. By the way, all their debts are forgiven. And in this music video of Officer of Peace by the Wandering Monks, Officer of Peace, it's free on YouTube. So the, the video is titled Officer of Peace and it's created by the Wandering Monks and it features Sherry Honkala, who is the Green Party vice presidential nominee uh, in uh, 2012. So uh, check it out. Number seven, uh, two witnesses put Rothschild in the synagogue on trial in Jerusalem. The Jubilee release is proclaimed. Uh, we, we, you know, from, from Revelation it describes there's the showdown. And, and more or less, this will be a showdown similar to Elijah uh, versus the prophets of Baal. It goes all wrong for the bad guys. They have to tuck their tail and run. So then what happens is uh, Jubilee releases is proclaimed. That means, uh, you know, every 50 years in the kingdom, every 50 years in the kingdom, every generation has a Jubilee release. It's the most jubilant event in every generation. And we haven't had a Jubilee for some very long time. So this is going to be extra jubilicious. Let's, uh, you know, normally I play... I play uh, the Jubilee song, which is from uh, Luke 4, 18 and 19. Actually, it's, it's right here. Set the captives free, right? So I want to uh, incorporate music. Uh, once I'm set up all better uh, in the School of the Prophets and we have that structure built, uh, I want to incorporate video inside the video to, to play music. So the, the song I wanted to play is, is by uh, Bob Marley, and it's covered by another band called The Movement, and it's on our Christian Israelite playlist, the, the Chant Down Babylon kids music. So I, I want you to listen to these songs because these songs are like, come we go chant down Babylon one more time, right? We're just going to, we're, we're going to do exactly like uh, Jesus and the apostles were doing. They were implementing a debtor's rebellion. They were putting the, the, the liars and deceivers and the scribes and the Pharisees and the money lenders, putting them on trial, right? They're, they're, by receiving the Holy Spirit, we have new eyes to see all of like, it's like that movie they live where you flip the glasses up like, oh man, this is all sin, usury sin. Debt extending past seven years is sin. Uh, tithing to Caesar is sin because everything is Yah's. Uh, so that's the point of the anointing is to see the world with uh, the eyes of a child. So uh, this particular song is called A Small Axe. Uh, if you are a big, big tree, bum, 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 we are the small axe, us. This tiny minority, we Davids, right, against the big Goliath, right? Sharpen to cut you down. And that's why we all want to be prophets, because iron sharpens iron. And we all need to be able to go into the churches and, and take the word of Yah, our only offensive weapon. And we have to be able, from, from memory, to be able to challenge these guys and do it without having to stop and look up you know, verses all the time. You have to be able to carry water, to hold your ground. Because you're going into the den of the adversary where, where they're corrupting the sheep. They're, they're, they're scattering the sheep because, number one, they're saying man can make law and that the Constitution is the supreme law of the land and that man owns the land in the form of governments and corporations into perpetuity, and slowly the Israelites have become like uh, uh, John the Baptist, where we're becoming more closer and homeless, and it's more and more desperate, and, and uh, Sodom and Gomorrah is growing. Well, this is how you push back, and, and we go on the offensive 
non-violently with music. So I got to show you some of the music. <coughs> see it. Yeah, the song is called Small Axe. Gee! Why boasteth thyself, though thy evil men? Iniquity to achieve vanity. We are the small axe. Ready to cut you down. Ready to chop you down. These are the words of my master. That's totally scriptural what he just sang there. Bob Marley when he wrote this. Completely scriptural. Because we are to be cutting down these groves. The, the point of iron sharpening iron isn't just to, you know, who's, who knows the, the, the scripture the best. It's in order to dominionize his kingdom and cut down this wicked system that's uh, oppressing us, oppressing we Israelites, we anointed Christian Israelites. So... The methodology in which the Bible proclaims is Jesus sent them out two by two, two by two. Seven, he, he, he anointed 72 disciples and he gave them authority to stomp on scorpions and snakes. All right. So a little bit of the example of, of how we did this when, when uh, Henry Garman was up in Breck. So this is the 9.5 thesis and we posted this on church doors. We, we've got video that you can see in the links. Okay, so going through the, 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 the points that we want to debate to sharpen, right? We're sharpening ourselves to cut down Babylon's groves, to, to cut down the, the Ashtara, right? This, this system where man rules through voting, that we pick leaders through voting, and all of, none of this stuff is in the Bible. So number one, Man cannot make law, only Yah's lawgiver, and, and there's scriptural citations on each one of these. You can download this on fact on, on Facebook, on my wall. Okay, number two, believers are the true Israelites. Uh, number three, we are being cold while in captivity. So we're going to be saying these things to the, the, the hireling pastors, priests, rabbis, and fathers, and whatever. And ultimately, they go, oh, no, you know, we're supposed to, and they'll go, the Constitution's awesome, and like... No, 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 no. <laughs> and there's a procedure in which we do this. We go to them individually, quietly first, and say, like, I'm going to be, I'm going to come back, right? And th then the way you up the ante as time goes on is in the same way, uh, you know, I used to be, I still am, I'm a 9-11 truth activist. This, the only way that you fix the symptom of false flags is to end the captivity. False flags are never, ever going to stop <laughs> until we end the captivity, right? And we are the ones anointed and challenged to do this, right? We are given the authority to uh, plant and pull up kingdoms. Okay, number four, the good news is the release from captivity, right? Set the captives free from Luke 4, 18, 19. Number five, revelation is the repeat of Exodus. 
In fact, you can say that the New Testament, in a way, is a prequel, a prequel to the Exodus story, right? You're gathering the tribes for Exodus. Uh, number six, uh, this is, you know, I'm, I'm basically exp uh, exposing a, a false doctrine. Most Christians are waiting for Jesus to return. Well, Jesus isn't going to return. The world isn't saved by Jesus, it, it's saved by his Holy Spirit. Through us, we're the servants to do the work. What The king doesn't do the work. The servants do the work. We do the work. Jesus is not returning for a whoring bride. And obeying, and, and obeying doctrines of man and man's law is whoring. Uh, number seven, Esau today is impersonating Jacob, just like Jacob in Genesis was impersonating Esau. Esau is Rothschild, red. Esau the red, Rothschild, red communism. Communism and capitalism are both fronts for fake Jewish usury. Number eight, uh, <clears throat> 144K, obeying biblical economics is the song of Moses and the Lamb. Most th people think that we need to have a, vi a physical war and all this kind of stuff. Biblical economics and, and, and a judicial system uh, uh, cleanses his temple, the whole planet, heals it, fixes it by us. Like if, if, if there's a cancer cell that was malfunctioning because it wasn't obeying God's engineering, it would malfunction, right? It's killing, we're killing ourselves because of our rebellion. We want to go back to the garden. Number nine, tribal identity, Holy Spirit gifts, and Christian liberation liberation music are paramount. Uh, number 9.5, uh, you know, we're playing on words to uh, Martin Luther's 95 thesis. This is 9.5 to keep it quick and short. And, uh, you know, keep it short. Uh, cannabis anointing and incense deliver the Holy Spirit, and it gives all the different references in the New and Old Testament where uh, believers and, and old, New and Old Testament prophets, kings and priests and prophets, and, and they all, uh, have, there's many, many examples in the New and Old Testament about cannabis of Exodus as the tool to receive the Holy Spirit. Okay, so we, we went around posting this in churches, and since it was the, the seventh feast, which is uh, Feast of Tents, all debts are for, to be forgiven, so, and you're supposed to proclaim the law, so we did videos about proclaiming the law for debt cancellation and lists all of the scripture supporting uh, debt cancellation and debt forgiveness, New and Old Testament, including the Lord's Prayer itself. Okay. So, all of us, all of us and each one of us in our communities, because we live in our communities, and we as Christians, are our mission <laughs> is that community, because if we're... Uh, you know, we're in Egyptian captivity, so what do you do if you're in captivity? Do the same thing as the apostles who were in captivity. You organize for exodus. You have to win the hearts and minds, so to speak, of the community and, and explain there's a better way. There's a, a kingdom. Repent. Stop serving the Constitution, for the kingdom is at hand. Okay? So, the challenges that we have to overcome are, are uh, we have to overcome Stockholm Syndrome. We have to overcome excuses and victimhood and say, oh, you know, it's the IRS. The, oh, it's, the, it's NASA. NASA, the, oh, it's the bankers and where we just blame, blame, blame. The reality is that Yah says if you rebel, he puts the curse on us. He's the one that he, he raises up and empowers the enemies of Israel and uh, diminishes the strength of the Israelites. So this revelation is just revealing what has already been here for 2,000 years, that because we've been living under man's law, we have the mark of the beast. And because we have the mark of the beast required to buy and sell, uh, we're whoring. We're, we're all working for Pharaoh. Most people won't even admit this stuff. They won't even talk about it. Oh, we, I don't have the mark of the beast. I'm willing to die before I had ever received that. Well, look at your money. <laughs> you know, Look at the one world currency. It has a, a star of Remfam on the back 
uh, put there by Rothschild. We all work for the bankers. Um, so there's these challenges. Like, so the hero's journey, just like Luke Skywalker. Imagine the movie Luke Skywalker, where he was just in denial, where uh, like Princess Leia, like you got to go get the plans. Or I, <laughs> I forget how the story goes. Uh, I guess a better example would actually be The Lion King, right? So there's a period of time in The Lion King where the, the true king, uh, we're supposed to be priests and kings. We're supposed to be moral and righteous. And we're, all that ever happened were some men today. They had the chutzpah. They had the courage. They had the audacity they had the creature from Jekyll Island, just some guys, just like me and you, right? Just some guys, right? But they had wicked intentions in order to establish a system where in which, in fact, Yah empowered them. Hey, the, the Israelites don't want to uh, keep my Sabbaths. They, they don't want to let the land go fallow, right? They don't want that. Hey, you guys take over. You guys take over until they come to the point where they see the error in their ways like the prodigal son. Uh, they, they, just like Moses, they, oh man, I'm, I'm not Egyptian. Oh, I thought I was Egyptian, right? And Moses, uh, I'm, I'm, I gotta cross over, I gotta change teams, I gotta be born again, and I gotta actually fight the, the most powerful military, economic, and spiritual entity on earth at that time, right? So Moses, right, you know what I mean? He changed teams, like he killed a cop. Uh, and then he got put on timeout for 40 years. The point is courage, 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 courage is the kind of heart that Yah is looking for. And Cannabis of Exodus is a tool for that when it's combined with repentance. So the Stockholm Syndrome, what Stockholm Syndrome is post-traumatic stress disorder. In order to police, sorry, uh, uh, military veterans who are killing themselves at a rate of roughly one per hour, a higher mortality rate, a higher death rate in military is from veterans killing themselves because they're waking up to the fact that they were killing and serving, just like all of us, the adversary, the devil, the bankers, they were working for the money lenders. They were working and killing for Esau, just like we're waking up to that, right? So we're not condemning them. Um, in fact, we want to come to them with love and say, hey, we don't want to be adversarial with you, but, you know, we want to, we want to be in the king's kingdom. And the king's kingdom requires that the king makes the laws, period. <laughs> okay. It's very cut and dry, okay? Just like playing an instrument. You can either play or you can't, you know what I mean? I don't know how to, and uh, uh, we can all learn and grow. However, there are rules, and you can't have two conductors of an orchestra. You gotta have one conductor, and Yah's gonna use his Holy Spirit to create this orchestra of music and uh, joy and hope that his people, no, no father wants their children to live as slaves. No father. Okay, so uh, uh, challenges, again, overcome your own Stockholm Syndrome. Uh, excuses, victimhood, denial, idolatry, like the U.S. Constitution and the flag and the anthem and militarism and worshiping, oh, we thank you for your service. No, no, no. <coughs> That's like thanking Caesar's troops for, you know, occupying <laughs> and, and, and crucifying Jesus, you know. Um, okay, number seven. Um, was the witnesses, all right? All of us need to endeavor to be that level of good, to go up against the scribes and the Pharisees, just like Jesus did when he was 12 years old, when he went into the temple on Passover, which is effectively the, the Super Bowl Sunday of the time, you know? 
when he was the most wanted man on, uh, he, he was public enemy number one. They killed all the kids that were from age, you know, from born to being two years old in order to get to Jesus because he's the true king that we shall put back on the throne. All right, so I listed the, the, the challenges and now I wanna list the benefits. Um, one, to glorify Yah as a warrior, overcomer, king, and priest. To glorify Yah as we are the generation that won't allow our children to be raised as slaves. We need to act as shepherds to the Israelites to be the blessing to all nations. The seed of Abraham, that includes um, all, Abraham. That, that means uh, uh, the Israelites. That means the Abrahamites include uh, Ishmael, which is the, the Islam, the Muslims, right? The Muslims aren't going to have a problem with this jubilee. It's, it's generally uh, the West that's all sucked into the banking side of things. Okay. Um, we are to act as shepherds to Israelites and be a blessing to all nations. Each of us become individually self-actualized by uh, overcoming, because, you know, there's going to be lots of challenges here. You're going to have to go into the churches and et cetera, et cetera. Each of us become individually self-actualized um, and then even better, that, that's individually what happens, we manifest collectively peak experiences in the form of the Jubilee rebirth. Most of the world has no idea how this miracle is going to play out. But it's all in the Bible. We're just doing what they were doing in Acts 2, 3, you know, in the book of Acts, basically. This is part of the restoration, the great refreshing, the restoration of all things. Um, <clears throat> and as a, a part of that is that all races after the Jubilee will exodus. The, the white European people, we will exodus and we will go to the land of our fathers, which is in Europe. Um, so the two witnesses anoint and they measure 144K for Exodus. So we need to gather 144,000. And uh, finally, the prophecy is fulfilled of Genesis 22:18, And thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because thou has obeyed my voice. Uh, okay, that's done. I'll read questions if anybody has any. I'm not going to get into e uh, extraterrestrial nonsense. Warren Wickman, uh, Daryl Payne, uh, thanks for watching. Dennis Gilbert, Scott Smith, David Wiersma, Ozzy Lopez, Matt Watson, Scott Carpenter, Emil Gottfried, Gottfried, uh, Carmen Lacours, Daryl Payne, Yaman, uh, Roy Orl, uh, Rob Lane, Graham Clot. I thought ETs were here to maintain the balance. And any to rock the unit will get for a shock. Uh, Graham Clark, you're an ET following moron, okay? You need to get yourself together and read the Bible and um, just, just get out of that nonsense. Uh, it's foolishness. You have no plan. You have no solution. This is how you do it. The Bible is very specific. Uh, you know, it says that if we disobey, we Israelites disobey, we will be under the curse of the money lenders. The, there's a pyramid on the back of a dollar bill. There is a store of Remfam on the back of a dollar bill. And it's because we are ruled by money lenders, human beings. Uh, we know exactly. And, 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 you know, they're ruling us because, uh, you know, th that's a tiny minority. This is very, very important. Very important. We are ruled with a tiny, tiny, tiny minority of moneylenders that all they did is took the initiative and say, hey, we're going we're to rule this because if we can just roll up these Christians and get them to believe nonsense like Romans 13 is an excuse to follow satanic government, then because our natural, you know, our number one, we're, 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 we naturally just want to believe the systems that we want to grow up. We've been 
indoctrinated into the systems that we grew up into. Um, and we, we can't believe that some other people are so psychopathic. Well, the, the veil is off of all that they are. They're, as, they're, they're more sinister and diabolical and evil than any thing that it's hard to imagine. The wickedness that they perpetrate on children. Uh, usury is genocide by definition because you have scarcity in the midst of abundance. Uh, food gets thrown away that's in the quantity nearly sufficient in order to feed the world. Meanwhile, we're fighting uh, in banker engineered wars. They do this with a tiny, tiny minority. In fact, Yah powers them because, empowers them, because we refuse to be biblical judges of tens and fifties and hundreds and thousands. We are not taking responsibility, and because we're not taking responsibility, it's our fault. Men of Israel take, re men, period, take responsibility. So that is the message for today. And uh, I hope you find this uh, encouraging. And, and we only need a tiny minority. All of these things are technically fairly simple. Uh, and just like the, the theme song for today, uh, small acts. You are a big, big tree. You're saying this to the bankers. We are the small axe, sharpened to cut you down. Bump, 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 sharpened to cut you down. These are the words of my master. This is the word God says, I created you for a purpose, not to be cowards, not to be like salt, which has lost its savor, good for nothing other than to be uh, trodden underfoot. That's not how you do it. We, we need to occupy till he comes. So that means uh, receive the Holy Spirit, a review of the seven steps, uh, get anointed. Number two, uh, have your burning bush, direct revelation with Yah. Number three, be, be uh, uh, born again and receive the, the, the gifts of the Spirit so that you're equipped. Number four, establish a school of the prophets. Number five, establish biblical judgment, uh, judges of tens, fifties, hundreds, and thousand. Number six, implement usury, free jubilee, economics to hire the police and the military to repatriate, repatriate the stolen assets. Number seven, happens in Jerusalem for the Super Bowl. So uh, thanks for listening, guys.